Hey Cyber Chumps, real Cyber Doctor here. Today I'm going to be responding to your comments. Let's go. Cyber Chumps, real Cyber Doctor here. Today I'm going to be responding to your comments. questions there's this question from a guy on instagram and he said am i too old to start a career in cyber security the straight answer to that question is no you're not too old to start a career in cyber security i don't care if you're 40 50 60 or 70 the most important question you should be asking is what are the attributes of a cyber security professional so it's not your age, it's your qualification, your quality as a person. Number one on my list is you have to have an uncommon passion to learn. Now this is very, very important because the cybersecurity learning curve is very, very steep. Yes, it's intimidating to say the least. There is a lot to cover. You need to be very vast across a lot of fields legal uh, financial gaming healthcare banking you need to know how to apply cyber security in those areas so a, a basic understanding of the workflow of the data processing storage of all these systems and how they work and these various fields is extremely important so you'll be learning every time you have to learn and also there is a lot of technologies from multiple vendors you have to learn uh, network devices endpoints um, software applications web applications uh, mobile applications there are so many uh, plethora of devices and systems that you have to study you know if you really want to be a cyber security pro so you must have that passion to learn I remember when I started 11 years ago, I spent most of my time in the library. Yes, they didn't go home, always in the library. Luckily, the library had a facility, you know, for students to have, you know, their shower, relax, get breakfast and all that. So it was quite comfortable. So once you have that opportunity to learn, you, you have to go for it. Number two, you need an uncommon ability to concentrate. This is very important because a lot of people in this field, their knowledge is half hazard, it's mediocre. You know, they don't have the time, they don't take the time to study deeply one particular concept at a time. For example, if you're studying email security, that's a huge domain. You need to study it deeply and that, re and that requires your concentration. So if you want to look at the various aspects of the email server, how it works, how authentication in the email server works, how access control works, how fire, firewalls, filtering, phishing works around emails, domain spoofing, it's a lot of topic. It's hundreds of man hours of study. How to investigate email fraud or malware coming from emails. So email forensics, you know, you need to concentrate. It requires a lot of time. What about DNS? So do not jump from one topic, you know, incompletely from one, uh, uh, from one form to the other. You have to dedicate time, your resources, your mental faculty has to focus on one particular topic. It's extremely important because it's going to tell the difference between whether you become an advanced cybersecurity pro or you become a noob. Or an average Joe. You don't want to be an average Joe. So number three, you need to take on new challenges. The ability to take on new challenges is extremely important as a cybersecurity professional. Now, why do I say this? Because every single day, you'll be trying to solve complex problems. Every day is not the same as a cybersecurity professional because you're dealing with new threats, new landscapes, new attack vector attack vectors. Uh, threat landscapes um asset types and classes you know use cases there's so many things you're going to be dealing with every single day of your life especially if you're good especially if you're well sought after so you need to have that ability to uh, absorb 
the challenges, to take on the challenges, to say, yes, you know, I can solve this problem. And when a challenge comes, do not, do not, um, do not bow, do not surrender. <laughs> you know, you do not surrender. Even if, even if it's going to take you three days, four days, a week, a month, three months, you have to focus. You have to see it as part of the job. Okay. Number four, you need to have the exceptional ability to be humble because trust me, this field is going to humble you. The more you know, the more you discover that you don't know anything. Yes, that's cybersecurity for you. So when you're with your peers that know better, or you're with your mentors that know better, you have to demonstrate humility because that's the only way you're going to pick something from them. So sometimes you'll be given a task by your mentor, you know, go do this, go do that. And you don't see the significance of those assignments or those tasks. Uh, you have to do it anyway because you don't understand. You, the, the, your mental faculty cannot comprehend the rationale behind those assignments and tasks you're given. So do it anyway, okay? And then learn later. Discover, ask, ask why later. So exceptional humility is one of those strong attributes of a cybersecurity professional in my books. And the last one I'm going to leave you with today is the willingness to help others. Yes. You need to have the ability and the willingness to want to help people. If you can't help people, you're probably in the wrong field, especially when you're starting out. You know, sometimes you need to volunteer your services. Say, I, I can scan a network. I can build a WordPress website. I can investigate threats, you know, with open source intelligence tools. You could send people messages, DMs, you know, those guys you admire that you want to be like. You have to be willing to help them. Also businesses as well. You can volunteer your time to help charity organizations. I know when I was starting out, I helped a lot of charity organizations, you know, to secure their website, you know, implement web application firewalls. You know, it, it adds to your resume, you know, as you help others, you know, you help your career as well. You, you encounter more problems, you learn better. You know, you flow better, you improve your communication skills, your social skills, interacting with people. So it's important you have that ability and the willingness to help other people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, response to the comment section. You are not too old to go into cybersecurity. Uh, the, the real question is, do you have the attributes? And if you don't have these attributes, it's something that you can work on. Yes, start working on them. It's important you work on them. Uh, thank you very much for listening and please do subscribe. Click the like button for more of these uh, series. And also, um, if you have questions, leave your, your questions down. If they are specific enough, if they are good enough, I'm going to make a video response to it. See you soon. Hey, Cyber Trumps, real Cyber Doctor here. Today I'm going to be learning very Questions.